go make something. So my solution for the clamps for the, the scope is just a block of wood. I've drilled a 28mm millimeter hole directly through it and then I've cut a slot, as you can see the slot here, and then a screw on the top which then clamps it down. I was surprised it actually worked, I was actually expecting it to break here, being that this is just an end grain right there, very weak point but it's actually holding. And then all I've done, just to give it a bit of aesthetics, I've, I've added a dado cutout and just sitting over top. And that's actually quite tight, and that's just actually just sitting there. I can't actually move it, I've actually got to struggle to get it on and off. So what I'm going to do today is, on one side, since this is supposed to be a steampunk assault rifle, I've got a very, very old pressure gauge that I was given by my colleague at work. And if I actually look at the date, it's 1919 it's all made of metal and everything so that's actually quite cool so that's just going to go on the side here and then with a bit of copper tubing somehow we're going to make it look like we've got some steam running through this thing somehow I'm just not 100% sure how yet now everything I do from now I don't want to glue it on until it's painted. Alright, I'm actually just screw in. Cut its own thread. Copper wire, I'm gonna wrap it, wrap it in copper wire and make it look like a coil. And that can be its fusion reactor, I don't know. <laughs> magnetic uh, it ignites the plasma the plasma from the steam driven which is actually what I'll probably do first I've now got on a piece of dowel rod that I can actually pull it tighter on and I'll transfer it over to that clear clear rod Now this is going to take a bit, isn't it? Clear pipe. Just putting on the last few few turns. wanting the coil to come out about there. And this coil is supposedly to ignite some plasma gas that's stored in the in one of the chambers that I'm gonna put on and then so I've actually changed my mind and that is the cool thing about steampunk. I don't have to abide by any rules of hey this is how the gun is supposed to look and I've changed my mind I think it's going to actually look aesthetically better if I attach a cylinder gas cylinder there and this is just an old um, a used nail gun cylinder gas cylinder so I reckon look better if I attach that to it so what I've got to do I'm going to fill my hole in because I stuffed up and actually drilled it without actually thinking about it. Just got a piece of dowel rod and I'm just gonna draw another hole to accept that and we'll epoxy this in. 
Now I can actually realistically only need to epoxy this part in because this just attaches to it. So my plan didn't work for the um, acrylic tube. I actually broke it. So I've actually now got to go back to plan A. Use a bit of dowel rod. Which is a bit, a bit disappointing, but never mind. That happens. So now I've got to feed it all back through onto that piece of dowel rod that I originally wound it up on. So if that goes in there like that, what we'll do is we'll shorten this off to say, say there. I'll shorten it off. Right. Now, I've got this other, it's actually collared off an old router, and it needs a relief port, so what I've decided, I'm going to screw that on there, I can probably shrink down a little bit more, but we'll actually sand it later, screw that on there. bit of tube with a filter on the end of it and I reckon just by looking at it if I look at that sometimes you do get lucky screw that into there So, that can now go glued in there. Oh, there is some more. Okay, put on there. And then with the help of that, we just about have a coil. So once, once I've got that glued in there, that glued onto there, that'll hold the coil on. So I've got this old plastic uh, vent. Don't ask why I've got this old plastic vent, but I thought it needs a cooling system on the other side, so I thought we could put, if I cut out a couple of these strips on the bandsaw, I've decided somehow that on the back of this, on the back of the gun, on the back of the gun here, right where that copper pipe is, that that, I want a little bit of pipe running there like that. So I need to cut whatever angle that is. That be just done on the bandsaw. Cut that angle there. And then something like that angle there. So I've got all that there. Well, that folded there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, 
please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And remember to click the notification bell icon, that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. You can find us on most social media, including Google+, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. Please also consider supporting me on Patreon. See you next time. Don't forget to go and make something.